The country's pioneering sex therapist, Dr. Ruth Westheimer, known to millions around the world as Dr. Ruth, died yesterday at the age of 96. Her warm smile and feisty sense of humor opened the door to sensitive topics about sex and relationships, leaving an impact on countless future generations. Hello, you're on the air. Renowned yes. sex therapist Dr. Ruth Westheimer normalized conversations around human sexuality in the 1980s at a time when very few people were willing to go there. And she seemed to enjoy every minute of breaking barriers. Did the physician talk to you and your husband about your sex life? He said it could be, you know, as normal. Yeah, but uh, normal doesn't uh, tell us uh, uh, very much. Before you go to the physician, lift that sheet a little bit. Dr. Ruth was born in Germany, escaped the Holocaust at age 10, and went on to study psychology in Paris before moving to the United States, where she earned her master's and doctorate degrees at Columbia University. She was a trained psychologist, media personality, and author who helped struggling couples and parents trying to navigate teaching their children about sex. You had another so question. Do you um, children between the ages of three to five about the morals of sex without giving them the wrong impression? I tell you what, all children do play doctors. Uh -huh. It is just one part of growing up, of exploring and finding out how that other sex looks like. Just when you find them, don't say that word catch them because it implies already that they have to hide uh -huh. someplace. When you find them doing that, say, okay, people, it's time for milk and cookies. Standing at only four feet, seven inches tall, her tiny frame packed a big punch of reality you at a time when talking about you sex on TV was still taboo. The only aphrodisiac needed is right between your ears. It's in your mind. It is nothing from the outside, and it is not a substance to be taken. It is just what you can do with your mind yeah. in order to get a good sexual functioning. Dr. Ruth also devoted much of her life to helping people battling loneliness, appearing in this PSA with Governor Hochul in 2023, where she was named the state's inaugural loneliness ambassador. I am participating in a program to combat loneliness because we have a lot of lonely people in our wonderful state of New York. Yes, we do, Dr. Ruth. We want you to know you're not alone. No. We're not alone. It's very difficult to admit, even to your family, your children or your spouse, that you are feeling lonely. Dr. Ruth was married three times and had two children and four grandchildren. She spent much of her adult life at her home in Washington Heights, where she died on Friday. And we have much more on the life and legacy of Dr. Ruth on our website, cbsnewyork.com.